Hello, Gerblots, and welcome to my little experiment in terminal velocity. Okay, I'm gonna do this experiment in terminal velocity, and first off, what is terminal velocity? Terminal velocity is the speed at which you're falling or accelerating due to gravity versus the air resistance that's caused by the air under you. And as you go faster, that air resistance builds up until you get to a point where it's the same as the force pulling you down. And that's your terminal velocity. You no longer accelerate any faster. In fact, the further you go down, the atmosphere gets thicker, so you should slow down. And why is this important, you may be asking. Well, in the original aerodynamics of the game, you had to launch up to be the most efficient launch you had to travel at terminal velocity. And basically, you're getting the in-between force of gravity and the force of the drag, so you get in in between of the so you're not fighting the gravity and you're not fighting the aerodynamics too much. And you get a nice result, hopefully. <laughs> That's the best I can explain it for the time being, but anyway, what we're going to do here, I'm launching this rocket up, I'm going to use this a rocket which is under the fairing, okay, to thrust this down as fast as possible then, and we're going to read off the speed at when we start to slow down. Basically we're looking at the speed on the nav ball, which that slows down, starts to slow down, and we'll read the speeds off. But I'm not happy with just this one experiment. It may, you know, turn out wrong. So then the next experiment will be doing multiple drops and finding out the speed at which they stop accelerating and they start to slow down. Okay, so we're gonna go to the highest point now, fast forward in the video, and let's rest down. We're coming down at incredible speeds in the name of science. And to make sure the drag is perfect, Jebediah has opted not for a parachute. He said it'll be fine. Nothing will go wrong. I have full trust in you. Anyway, let's get to the point where we start slowing down. Okay, 30 kilometers, 19,000, 1900, I mean, 20 kilometers, 1800, 15 kilometers, 1600, 10 kilometers, 1100. At 5 kilometers, 278 meters per second. Do one at 2 kilometers. 187 meters per second, and let's see what we get when we get close to the ground. Ooh, well that must have hurt. Sorry Jebediah, that was in the name of science. Okay, so this is gonna be my multiple drop. This time I'm not gonna thrust down using a rocket, I'm just gonna let the capsule fall. But I'm not gonna go up into space this time, I'm gonna pick several, well, I think five different heights would be the best to get the best results. And here we are, we're coming down. Okay, keep an eye on that speed on the nav ball. When it slows, it starts to slow down. Okay, we're, yep, 557.7 meters per second. Okay, that's interesting. I'm sure we'll travel a lot faster in the other experiment. In mind, we have to do other drop tests first, and there we can find out. Okay, here we are, the next one. Sure, yep. Okay, 288.6 meters per second at 14.4 kilometers. Hmm, okay, next one, please. And come on, slow down, slow down. Okay, so we're at 207 meters per second, 6.1 kilometers. And now 160.3 at 4, at 2 kilometers. Okay, I think one more. And we're close to the ground. We're Ooh, make sure it, okay. All right, so 300, no, 144 at 385 kilometers. 100 meters, sorry. Okay, let's graph these results. All right, from the start, you can see them straight drop. The speed is increasing until we get to five kilometers. Now that can't be right. And have a look at the multiple drops. Now the speed is decreasing as soon as you're going down. That graph looks exactly what thermal velocity should look like on a graph. So that's the correct results, I assume. And we can see that at 20 kilometers, we want to limit our speed on launch to 500 meters per second. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little experiment. I hope that has inspired you to do your own little experiments. Sorry, Jeb. 
and go ahead and mess around with Kerbal Space Rock. It doesn't have to be something scientific, it could be just something stupid like how will my rocket survive this? Anyway, my Orbator, trust me, I'm an engineer.